Hi, it's Sandy from ParkerLings.com, and you find me today restarting my freeze drying processes. And right now, I am preparing ricotta cheese, and I've and I've been preparing mozzarella cheese to go back into the freeze dryer after a month and a half of no freeze drying as a result of problems that I had with the vacuum pump. Hopefully the problems are now resolved and we can get on, but I want to give you some hints and tips about the vacuum pump that I learned through this process. So come along as we get this batch of cheese ready for the freeze dryer. a five pound bucket of ricotta cheese and I'm doing two trays of ricotta cheese using the Harvest Right silicon molds and you can see that this is how much I have left from the five pounds after doing two trays. It probably is most of a third tray which I'll just simply do in the next batch but my other two trays are already full of mozzarella cheese which I'll show you in a few minutes. So here we are going into the freeze dryer with the ricotta. Obviously this is not yet frozen. Here are the two trays of mozzarella cheese balls that I put on, I, and I've simply got them on some parchment paper. So we're gonna get those into the freeze dryer, and there is my next batch of freeze drying after over a month of, being, of break from the freeze dryer. I'm excited to be restarting this process. So let me explain for a minute or two what happened to cause my month and a half of freeze dryer break, if you will. The problem was all about this demister and the oil filter within the demister. This was my oil filter. And this is after I tried to clean it. You can see that it is significantly full of rust and, and just terrible. Now I used Brian at Retired at 40's video for learning how to take this apart to be able to try to clean it. It was really worth, really useful and worthwhile, but I, I'm kicking myself as to why my oil pump got this rusty in the first place. And I've investigated lots of different videos and, and things to try to figure that out. So I think that the reason why my oil pump got so rusty is because of this little valve here. I have found out that this, it, this little valve is a gas ballast valve and effectively it has a closed and an open um, aspect to it. Now I think that it has, it got closed when we first started our, when we first started freeze drying. And I never touched it. I never investigated it because I didn't realize, I didn't think that it needed to be dealt, managed or dealt with in, in any way. My dad thinks that it was he who closed it, not realizing that it, whether it should be closed or open. Apparently on the Premier pump, this valve needs to be open. 
and when it is open what it does is it helps the gas vapors that get pulled out of the machine during the vacuum process those vapors are water vapor and it a lot when it's open when the valve is open it allows that water vapor to um, as a gas to release from the pump rather than becoming uh, condensing and becoming water in the pump so when it's closed it becomes it has the opportunity to become water in the pump now i suspect that that is the reason why my pump got so rusted now the reason that it took so long is because i called harvest right and ordered this part um, on the 4th of november i called a week later and they said it was uh, back ordered and they didn't know when it was going to come back in that was highly upsetting why they couldn't have said it was back ordered when I ordered it in the first place um, would have just been much nicer a much nicer customer experience but in any case I finally got this part last week right before Christmas and so now right after Christmas is when I've got the time to actually get it all put back together and get a batch restarted. So my top tips, make sure that your gas ballast valve is set to the open position. There's an O and a C on the pump. Make sure it's set to the open position when you're operating. And number two, if you've got the, the means and the opportunity, if you have been operating in a closed position, go through the Retired at 40 YouTube tutorial for how to open up and clean your machine if you start to see rust in the front oil valve and or in your oil changes because that indicates that you might have a, a similar problem. We'll see as we go through whether this in fact creates other problems that I've not had in the past and or if it does in fact uh, fix the rust problem that I've had. Um, uh, time will tell and perhaps we'll put on another video if we get any further information. With that, I've been Sandy Parker from parkerlings.com. I hope that this video finds you well. I hope that you are enjoying your freeze drying process and that you are able to avoid this oil filter rust problem that I have had as a result of my video. Take care, have a great day, bye-bye, God bless.